let you go. No, no, not this time. No, 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 no,
pathetic. You can't just kill me with protozone. Doctor Reed, you're just a pathetic copy of it. I should have never have come here. It's all my fault. It would have happened anyway. They didn't give a damn about the disease. They only used it to improve the binoxal. The moths were the final piece for the cure and to show the world how much they were. They had noticed how moths were acting on Felton after he caught the disease in Egypt in 58. Oh, he deserved it. 
We were all test animals at the plantation. They used us. They made us believe we had been touched by the hand of God, giving us the disease as a sign. But then trouble came. The eyes burning, the bandage, the horrible pain in the head. All of this? Just forget. Phenoxyl was created as an anti-psychotic drug for war veterans suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. <sighs> to forget the horrors. As a father who ruined his daughter's life, forcing her to live as a man. Felton is just like all of us. He was a victim. He could only count on the results of the experiments of the plantation when they withdrew the drug from the market because of its crazy side effects. Wyman, that fucking bastard. Synthesizing parasites and mixing them with the drug only showed him he could do better. That it was possible to modify and control memories. Our memories. But we were only able to control the moths and be sick. Very sick. And those damn memories will come up again sooner or later. Now I understand. Felton always told the truth. He just wanted to protect Celeste from all of this. From himself. From his Jennifer. The sessions were for her to just forget. Forget everything forever. And he was the one to push her to leave. And eventually, she did. She ran away. But I still have unanswered questions. It's not too late. This is not your end yet. It may be the end of everything. And maybe we're already dead. And neither of us knows it. <laughs> I'm not the one who is crazy here. Maybe we both are. You could have been one of us. No, I couldn't have. Yes, you could have, sister. But I could never forget that day. All oh, the screams, the flames. How could you? You wanted to propagate it as a sign of God. This was not a gift. This was not from God. It was fucking stupid science. And those two things have never been compatible. We believed it. It's true. And we were wrong. But you left us there to die. I, I don't... I, I don't know. I... I don't remember. I, I can't remember. It's all confusing and I, I anyway, don't... It's over now. No, I don't want to die rotting in hatred. I've hated all my life. I don't care anymore. It doesn't matter who you were, what we were. You are what you have become. Look at yourself. I am nothing like this. This is all just farce, discount store garbage. You know, now I remember when I was young and I would lie on the grass. Oh, I loved doing this. I would stay for hours staring at the emptiness and seeing myself somewhere else where I could go far away and now all these memories hurt oh, that hurt so much 
Why can't we just forget? Why? 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 Why do we have to remember? Because... That is how we save our memories from oblivion. She is still alive. You will find her. I know you will find her on top of the world. What? If God is real, I hope he is made of this love. I hope you will both forgive me one day. I already have. Bad habit. Smoke. Forgiveness. What was in the bag? What did she find? A goodbye. A goodbye that spoke of hope. Hope? Do you mean to say that, despite everything, she was not resigned to the idea of finding her? No. Not at all. <laughs> 